Hi everyone, Arjun on page and I want to do a collage in the background so I started looking for papers that I can work with and I want some green as you can already see but I wanted to show you how easy it is to make something like this or like this. So this is just, a, this was printer paper, I think I've used some uh, watercolors or uh, anything watery it can be watercolors it can be sprays if you've got them uh, you can use this distress uh, inks just by putting down uh, the ink pad spraying it with water and then smooshing it you can use acrylic paints just uh, by diluting them with water. So a lot of uh, stuff is going on. You can use now. It started with this and I started cutting all kinds of uh, rectangles so I can play with. I also had on this uh, specific paper, I stamped this butterfly. I don't know why. So I've cut it and maybe I will use it in my background. I still got more of this. This is on a thicker paper, but I don't want to use it here. And then I went looking for other papers. So I did have things with green in them, but this one had white background. So what I've done is sprayed it and did a gold splatter on the wet. And this one also was some kind of a paper from a paper pad done the same thing and once again so i just wanted uh, to show you how you can transfer something like this this is again one a scrapbook paper from a paper pad and well it's nice but it's too i don't know <laughs> for me it's too boring so I uh, just wanted to show you how uh, easy it is uh, if it's a uh, sprays you just of course uh, spray however you want and just let it be if it's watercolors I can take let's take a brush with water more and go over if it's too uh, opaque just add water until you got what you want you can also spray it again with water and let everything just uh, mix and spread it's up to you i'm just now i'm just uh, putting down some colors so i can show you what i've done with the other papers and how easy it is just spreading it and then I took gold acrylic paint just a little bit again water you can use a fan brush it's easier to do splatter with a fan brush but you don't have to I'm using the same uh, brush I've used a minute ago and I'm just splattering and it's better when it's wet on wet because then some of it is also mixing with the paint and you've got all kinds of neat effect like so so moving this aside I just want to show you that you can also do this with acrylic paint I think this will be a uh, too light for this background so let's take this one just a drop and once again adding water because you don't want it to be opaque and I've spread <laughs> always making a mess more water of course you can use as many uh, shades that you want you can also take more water and spray directly and help it along so really easy to change and 
do whatever you want it so you will have a, another to play with this one just was on my desk so <laughs> I'm uh, going to use this one to add more color I don't like solid color I think this mix and once again I can uh, do the gold splattering don't have a lot but I'm just playing it really doesn't matter You do how much you want. You don't like splatter, don't do splatter. Someone wrote me that they don't like splatter. <laughs> what to each his own. Okay. Like so. And of course you can do the whole page, part of the page, whatever you want. Okay. Moving this aside and all of this so lots of options you can do gelatos on it anything that reacts with water so starting the page I, this is a journal I made from a thick paper from a paper pad I've glued the pages back to back I've showed you in a lot of videos how I do it, I'm putting a masking tape because I'm only going to work on this page. And I don't know, we'll see what, what's going to happen. I've got these pieces and I've got these ones. And basically I just need to cut some rectangles or tear it apart if that's what I want it can be torn pieces whatever floats your boat I'm trying to align them just so to make it's easy and fast and yeah. <laughs> because of the water it's not straight and I'm not ironing it. it really doesn't matter okay so I'm trying to be, to cut straight I want all kinds of uh, sizes and shapes Okay, let's cut it in half. I'm just trying, I'm not uh, measuring, I'm just trying to make it mostly straight. I don't want any wonky <laughs> shapes, but otherwise I really don't care. I will probably have leftovers from all this. We'll see. And it's always good. I can just bag the le leftovers, put it in my stashes, and use it for another project. Okay, we'll see. Okay. And, of course, I need to wait for this to dry to use it. Now it's the fun part of just putting down some pieces and having fun with it. Now, the only thing with something like that is that I try most of the time to put a darker a colors towards the bottom, a lighter colors towards a, the top, otherwise I really don't care. And another thing that I try to do is change and have all kinds of shapes. And if I have like this paper, I will try and use it at least two more times on my page so I will have 
variation and interest and re something repetitive that m the eye can catch and let's see so i've got this paper let's try this one here i'm playing and when i will uh, i like i will like the result then i will glue everything down so three presses i have already got and let's see maybe here and here as i said i'm just playing maybe later on i will stick the butterfly maybe cut it in half and stick it in uh, two places the two pieces i don't know what else i really like this it gives a more brightness to the page so i'm thinking maybe something like that and like that and what else i need something more of this yeah now i like it so <laughs> and just this is just the beginning and some of it is gonna get covered just so you know it's just a base so i'm going to uh, when you're doing something like that, if it's really important to you what uh, comes where and on top of what, take a picture with your phone and then uh, when you're starting to glue, recreate it. I'm going to start gluing all of this and I'll be back. Okay, so finished gluing the pieces. As you can see, that was, <laughs> that was the photo I took of uh, the placement and after i added the pieces of the paper i showed you how i painted and waited it for to dry to use it so here it is and i used the butterfly as i said now my original plan was to take white gesso push everything back smudge the edges and then stencil this stencil but change of plans <laughs> I like this background as is I'm leaving it like this and there is another stencil that I made that I want to use I've cut it uh, out of a 12 by 12 boring one and I don't like uh, I don't uh, like pink very much so I've cut it uh, from this and I'm really now I want to use it I'm just not sure how maybe well i don't know we'll see <laughs> i'm going to start and whatever will be will be i've put some acrylic paint here i've got some chestnut i've got terracotta i've got orange and as i said we'll see so i'm a uh, moving this a little bit to the side I want to start stenciling here this so I don't need this to go into the paint which is probably what I would have done and I think one branch will go here one here and one here but maybe start in the middle and approximately in the middle and then see how the sides fits so I'm starting here and let's take a makeup sponge i'm starting with the darker color the chestnut and it's kind of runny this uh, acrylic paint so i'm hoping it will work but if not then i will change to something else so i'm starting with this and now i'm taking a little bit of the other color of the terracotta 
you know me I don't like solid color so I'm just changing as I go I'm planning to put the bright orange uh, towards the top and maybe not with a makeup sponge maybe I will try some sponge with lots of ho holes in it so I will get more uh, I don't know more texture visualized texture I don't know what to call it so as you can see I'm just continuing and I'm switching between colors and whatever will be will be and later on if I don't like it I can always add something more on top now because they are not quite uh, completely opaque you can still get a hint of the what I have underneath of the papers I've glued as a background I think that I will use the leftover uh, papers in another journal and do what I thought to do at first spread them around and then take gesso and smudge the edges and make a more a uh, not more just different kind of background okay so I've got this now let's try and I've got this kind of a sponge with all kinds of holes and let's see if it will work because I just want a hint or like a splatter on each leaf I don't want it to overwhelm it just needs to be like detail on the leaves let's see yeah maybe I need well I don't know I'm going to leave this a uh, now later on I'm thinking I need to go with some kind of marker and make it more pronounced on the page so I've got the center one now I'm flipping it over and I'm going to add two more branches upside down I don't know why it just what this page is calling me to do <laughs> don't have any explanation to give you and let's see I think it will go here so I'm going to do the same thing I've done here so I'll be back okay finished stenciling now I want to uh, make my branches leaves more uh, defined on the page I've picked just a regular felt pen this is dark brown I was going I was thinking about black but then I it would be too harsh at least that's what I think right now so what I'm going to do is just connect the leaves and also go around each one and in the hopes that it will give more definition to what I've got here like so and of course it will take me some time to go over all of this but it's worth it it's a little bit tricky with all the pieces I've got glued in the back but if I'm being careful I'm I can manage doing it like here when I'm going between pieces I need to be a little bit more careful with the line but otherwise it's really easy and 
just going with the flow like so okay so <laughs> I've got a lot to do here same thing all over again so I'm going to come back when I'm finished uh, doing the contour line and probably I'm not sure yet this would be it for this page although I'm thinking of doing something that will be will define the pieces in the back a little bit more we'll see first I want to see how all my branches are looking after uh, the contour line and then uh, I will see if it needs something more I'll be back okay so <laughs> I finished going over everything with the contour line I hope you can see what I've done here and I also stenciled the word bloom here uh, with the same colors I have and this is it I decided that I'm leaving it be I uh, first I thought to do something to each piece here in the background but it needs to stay in the background and I'm leaving it be so that's it for now thank you for watching thank you for leaving me comments down below and I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now